So, while all this COVID-19 has been going on, uh, we have seen a positive move on behalf of the FAA in the United States towards supersonic air travel, civilian supersonic air travel. Uh, now, what has happened? On the 30th of March of 2020, the FAA released a proposed standards for takeoff and landing for supersonic aircraft. This is applicable to air, uh, supersonic level one aircraft, which uh, have a maximum takeoff weight of 68,000 kilos or 150,000 pounds and a maximum operating speed of Mark 1.8. So um, all the other regulations that were out there were actually designed for Concord and specifically for Concord. So the fact that they had proposed this, uh, the, the, these new standards, it's not, it's not law yet, okay, but it's been proposed. And it's been proposed at a time where everybody's kind of on lockdown. So the world is kind of slowed down and now we're talking about speeding the world up even more with supersonic. Now, interestingly enough, there is a project that um, NASA uh, wanted to develop a supersonic aircraft that doesn't actually have a, super, a, 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 a boom because the, the, the big thing is the noise that these airplanes make. So uh, they've appointed Lockheed Martin and they developed the, the Lockheed X-59 Quest, which is an interesting airplane as you can see. It's very, very long and, and that spreads the, the sonic boom. And uh, the noise it makes is like uh, the sound of a car door shutting. So if you're in an urban area, you, you won't even hear it. Uh, this airplane will fly at 55,000 feet, Mark 1.4, um, and it will take like half the time a normal airliner takes to go from A to B. Uh, the first flight is due in 2021, so it's interesting uh, that this project is going ahead together also with Boom Aerospace, with their project and Arium. Um, so we've got these three projects and there's some others out there as well. Uh, so anyway, let's hear from you. What do you think? Here, comment below uh, about this New development for supersonic civilian supersonic air travel, which I think is going to be a, a, a big one. It certainly is the future. Going faster is where we really need to be going. And really, I don't understand why we haven't been uh, over the last few years. But anyway, that's a subject for another video. Uh, so if you haven't checked to checked the video about the TR3B, interesting one, now at 39,000 views, lots of comments, lots of people around the world that have claimed to have actually seen this flying object. Uh, so check on that video on the TR3B and the other one is a video about the Russian supersonic jet. So lots of interest around here. Also check into the uh, playlist about the future of aviation. I'm sure you'll like that. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one.